Hey guys, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to do fur on your chip burn for chip bag. Um, i got to find one real quick. Mm, draw a picture. You know that. We'll just go with that one. Mm, yeah, that's fine. You're going to create a new layer. Name it whatever you want. So you, you can keep track of it and stuff. Pick your fur color. Like this is how Caitlin and the monk heads did her fur. And all that. You can use a fuzzy brush to go over over it, depending on how big your picture is, that's how big you want to make the brush. You can go over it, you know, make sure on your on your layer. You might want to keep switching sizes to go with fingers and stuff. I'm a little tired. I'm supposed to be going to my dad's. My brother hasn't picked me up. Ugh. Just a pleasant day. Not really. Whew. Now see that? I'm pretty sure that's Alvin. I don't know though. Not for sure. If you want this picture, I'll send it to you. I just like snapshots from the movies I have. Okay, then you want to use the bucket tool to fill it up. And then you want to fill it, fill the outlines in. It doesn't look as bad. And this is how you make that pale yellow fur. Pretty easy, actually. Hmm. It's tired. It's two o'clock at night. You want to make sure you go over the eyes and the mouth so you don't get any in on, on there. But if you do, no worries, they're going to be erasing because um, it doesn't have to be perfect. But if you do that so you have less, less of a job to do. And then you want to do this. Go in it again and fill up the spaces. Okay. Okay, now see, this is where a lot of people mess up and don't know how to do this. Trust me, I never did. Until I got a little tutorial from Angel. Okay, an Angel. A little lower the opacity. That's the trick. What do you think is good? You want to take the eraser tool before you blur it. And again, you want to make sure you're on the little air. Make it sort of good like that. I'm going to get the microphone real quick. Good. Okay, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just what I do. I'm gonna take the filters, blur, second one down, and you can blur to whatever level you want. I just go to ten to the I personally think it looks better. Now, if it still doesn't look right, lower the opacity down more. That should look right for you. And that's basically how you do furs. This will work with basically any color but brown. If you want a brown color, get a blue like this. Go over it. Then go to colors. Colorize. Oh, that, look, that looks cool. I want to keep that. That looks so cool. I like that. 
then you go to saturation, go all the way down, and you turn the lightness all the way down on the fur. That looks so cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I love that. Oh wow, that, that, that's amazing. Huh. Okay, okay, since that looks awesome, I'm gonna keep it. Then you wanna export it. I suggest making a photo for your, all your pictures. For that, and then you just name it and put it in there. I'm just naming it pics. Don't know why. To make a folder, I had to do, you don't necessarily have to go to documents, that, that's just what I do. Then you hit new folder, you name it, then you're good to go. Now as you can see I already made one, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the new folder. And I have all that. <laughs>